Welcome back to Halftime Report. So one of the stocks of the last many days has definitely been IPCA Laboratories. Uh, now, if you remember, they had that deal with Unichem and uh, post the Unichem acquisition, the street was very disappointed. Looks like it's not over just yet, down another 7%. But what more are you picking up on this, Ika? Well, you know, uh, yesterday the stock was down 10%. So the management held a conference call, which took place post-markets at around 4 p.m. I did listen in to the conference call. A couple of important takeaways from that call was that they are estimating around 1,800 crores in terms of revenue and EBITDA of around 300 crores over the next two years from this particular acquisition. The company is going to work on factors such as new launches. They expect 10 new ANDAs, uh, which is new drugs, to be launched over the next 12 to 15 months. They're increasing market share in existing products. They're expecting synergies. They're expecting to rationalize R&D. A shift from GST rebate process to GST refund, in fact, can unlock a w uh, amount worth 250 crores in Unicamp. Plus, they have a land parcel in Mumbai, which can also be monetized. So these are, you know, deliverables uh, over a piece of, uh, over a course of time that the street would watch out for. The transactions expected to be completed in four to six months. IPCA has no plans to increase its stake in Unicamp post the open offer. Unicam has around 76 ANDAs totally with around 54 approvals. Top 10 products around 70 to 75 percent of sales. And IPCA is still to hear from the US FDA for their own three plants which are under the US FDA scanner. They haven't heard anything from them even in terms of a reinspection. The street is skeptical. Uh, that whether or not they will achieve those financial targets that they've put out and to whether or not it was actually necessary for them to pay so much for an acquisition. Remember, Unicam, we pointed out yesterday, has been reporting uh, subdued margins as well as numbers. So one of the questions on the call, in fact, was that did you not scout for better assets? So they said this was the best asset that we've received uh, in terms of a proposal to buy over the last five years. So that was something which, uh, you know, there were a lot of concerns with regards to the price and the asset acquisition as a whole on the call. And that's really reflecting on the stock price. IAFL has also written on it. Uh, the acquisition has raised capital allocation concerns. The deal would increase IPCA's exposure to the inherently low margin, low return U.S. export business. Remember, uh, Unicam is mainly a vanilla generic U.S. company. Deal is expensively valued at around 10 to 11 times FY26 estimated EBITDA according to IAFL. It leaves li limited scope for disappointment going forward. They've revised their target price lower to 720, but they've maintained their ad position on the stock. So as you can see, three-year low for IPCA laboratories. All right, Ekta, thanks a lot for that. Uh, three-year low for that counter. But a lot of stocks doing uh, well right now. We have Ambuja Cements, which has moved to the high point of trade from the broader markets. Uh, Container Corp has done well as well, has moved uh, to the high point and giving it company as Siemens, which too has seen a smart gain of about 2.5%, most of them coming by in just the last 30 odd minutes. Uh, take a short break, come back, we begin our commodities coverage. Manisha Gupta joins in with Rajiv Budhraja, who is the director.